Well, the California Fire Foundation is a nonprofit that provides emotional and financial assistance to families of fallen firefighters, firefighters, and the people they protect. Earlier this week, Brian Rice, chairman of the foundation, was in Reading delivering gift cards for victims of the car fire so they can purchase basic necessities. And this was made possible through the Foundation Save program. Lucky enough to have Brian Rice join us in the studio this morning. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, thank you. We'll talk about the, the SAVE program in a little bit, but I just want to get your take, you know, on, on what we're experiencing here in California, Northern California. You know, five years of drought, I feel like we're starting to really feel the effect here. Um, we've lost firefighters last month. Yes. Uh, we've lost uh, people from different communities. Firefighter fatigue, is that the biggest concern, would you say, right now, in your eyes? certainly is a concern. Um, the men and women on the line at the car fire right now, you know, at, at one point when it was at its height and it made its run Thursday, Friday, you know, they began working 36 to 48 hour shifts and they're just now uh, at least beginning to catch up and make a, um, an internal positive impact on that fatigue as the fire um, begins to cooperate a little bit more due to the weather and they can make a more um, offensive push on the fire. But that, that's going to be, fatigue is going to be a problem for the firefighters until this thing is out. You're just never going to catch up. You're always going to be running behind that way. And it's August 1st. I mean, we've got a bulk of really the intensity of the fire season that we know is now year round in front of us. When it comes to helping, I think this is the part I hear from people as well. It's overwhelming. If we had one fire, we had, you know, one firefighter family, we had one town, it's easy to kind of put your, your focus on, on them. But because it's so broad, how do people really effectively make a difference for so many people affected? I think one of the ways um, the California Professional Firefighters, our state organization, we represent over 30,000 firefighters in the state. Our charitable 501c3 is called the California Fire Foundation. And if anybody wanted to make a donation, you can go to our website, which is at CAFIRE foundation.org. And that money goes exactly where? That, it goes into the community. Mm -hmm. um, like right now up in Reading, I delivered 800 save cards. A save card is a preloaded master card that has $100 on it. That doesn't seem like a lot, but if you've lost your home and everything you've had, um, that can provide some basic necessities, anything from toothbrush and toiletries to a meal. And we anticipate um, giving out all 800 of those cards. Right now, I just checked in this morning, and as the Reading firefighters are trying to settle back into normal in the city, they're a key point in delivering these cards, and it's a very big deal that the firefighters that actually, you know, where they were saving lives and property, they, they, give, they get to give back. It's important for them to do it. Absolutely. Hand them why is it that, Absolutely. why is it for them? I think one of the things that we've learned professionally in the last few years is to really pay attention to our mental health. We do a lot for our physical health, but we haven't done much for our mental health. And um, PTSI or post-traumatic stress injury is a very big deal. Right now, we have uh, a team of approximately six what we call peer supporters, and they've been. Um, not only on the fire lines, but in the base camps, giving firefighters a way to decompress, to um, kind of have a place where they can discuss what they've been through in a setting that um, is open. And, and a lot of that stuff, a firefighter internalizes, and yeah. it takes a toll. And, 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 and staying on that vein, so firefighters, you know, who are helping fight the fires, who helps actually distribute that's a secondary job of distributing. Mm -hmm. Is that you and your organization mm -hmm. doing it so the firefighters can stay on the lines? We we do it, yes. And, and so a simple answer is we actually use firefighters when they're, like the city of Reading firefighters that were in the heat of battle, third, I mean, to date. But they have to go back to protecting their city. And as we begin to repopulate areas of the city, I believe about 15,000 people have been repopulated we have provided the firefighters with those cards so that as they have contact with the community, they can and hand them out. And what people don't realize is firefighters also provide basic medical. When you call 911 and you're having a heart attack, the fire department shows up first. Mm -hmm. So they're still doing that. Yes. Uh, along with the other firefighters coming in to fight the fire. Yes, the normal, coast, uh, uh, the normal co course of business in the city of Reading hasn't stopped. Let me ask you, Brian, before we let you go here, I was looking on a map and I saw, I think, about a dozen states with firefighters who are 
Arabs who are loaning them basically to California. Is this the future? I mean, is, is this every year we're going to be relying? It kind of goes back to my initial question, and especially the funding in the budget that we're using, but are we going to be relying on other states uh, from here on out? Yes, and, and we've traditionally done that in the past. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot more now. A lot of departments have not recovered their staffing levels from the Great Recession, and it's going to be interesting to see how things play out um, in the future when agencies really have to take a, s a step back and, and look at, are we properly covered? Do so we, we don't, in your eyes, we don't have enough firefighters in California? We do not. We haven't yeah. completed our, uh, the, the recovery from this session has not happened completely yet. And, and unfortunately, it's incidents like this that really draw um, the attention yeah. and the eye. Well, right. we appreciate the work you're doing, Brian. I obviously appreciate every, everyone on the line right now. The work out yeah, there. especially the SAVE program. And if you at home would like to donate to the California Fire Foundation, we've actually put more information about it on our website at ktvu.com. Look for it in the web link section right there under the Mornings on 2 tab. You can also find it on the KTVU uh, mobile app. Brian Rice, always a pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. All Thanks right. so much for Thank